Hello and welcome to the first CCP video tutorial. We are now going to create a new layout with two basic buttons, copy and paste, and we are going to set them up to execute the corresponding commands on uh, the connected PC. I want to remember you to have the server application running on your PC before starting this tutorial. You can download it from the link on screen now. I'm going to start by creating a new layout and to do so I'm going to swipe from left to right to bring out the layout browser panel. From here I can navigate my layouts and create new ones. So I'm going to tap the plus icon on the bottom right of this panel to create a new layout. I'm going to give it a name as a first step. Okay, now we have our new layout and it's blank for the moment. So we need to enter edit mode to be able to add buttons to it. I'm going to tap the top right corner of the screen to enter edit mode. And as you can see, the edit switch turns green. Okay, so now we can tap the plus button to add an item to the current layout. I'm going to choose the button. I'm going to tap where I want to place it. And from this panel, I can change the graphics for the button. I can change the size, the name, and the functionalities of the current button. Now, since I want this button to trigger the copy function on my computer, I'm going to set it up to do so. I'm going to select the keyboard modifier to send to the PC. It's going to be the common key, which on Windows computer will actually trigger the control key. And I'm going to add it with the plus button. And in the character field, I'm going to type C. So now our button is set it up and uh, we are still in edit mode so I can drag it around or resize it with a regular pinch gesture. So now I have a huge button and I want to edit the text for it. I'm going to reach the text settings panel and with sliders I can change the size and the color of the text. I can also change the font or the alignment of it from this panel. We now have a huge copy button and I'm going to duplicate it to create instead a paste button. I can edit this button and it's a, clo a perfect clone of the original one. I'm going to change the graphics to a red color and I'm going to change the text to paste. Also in the settings panel, I don't need to change the modifier key because it is going to be the same, but I'm going to change the character to V instead of C to trigger the paste command in the operating system. I'm going to edit the text color again, just to be perfect. And here we have two huge fantastic buttons, copy and paste. I'm going to exit edit mode at this point and connect to the PC. I now need to select the computer to which I want to connect and uh, also I want to remember you to have the server application running on your PC and to be on the same network as the device on which you're running CCP application. Accept the connection on your PC as the window asks you and for the example I'm going to select some text in a text editor and on the iPad I'm going to press our copy button and immediately after paste it to show you the functionality. Since I've seen that my layout works, I'm going to tap the upper part of the screen to bring back the control bar and X enter edit mode and access the layout settings panel to save my layout with the little disk icon on the top right of the panel. At this point I can enter back the layout settings and uh, maybe change the skin for the layout with this uh, picker. Each skin comes with a unique set of graphics for all the elements and as you can see the layout automatically changed the graphics to the new skin ones. 